welcome back to Critterland. Well, today's haul is very exciting, but also bittersweet. As you probably already know, our beloved Jack Batch has decided to stop collecting Sylvanians. If you're not familiar with him, he runs the sylvaniancollector.net website that we all know and love, that I frequently use, but beyond that, he's just an amazing leader in the collection community. And he's even the Guinness Book of World Records record holder for having the largest Sylvanian families collection. So Jack's departure is a huge, huge loss for the Sylvanian community. However, he is selling his collection and I was able to pick up a few items. So it's definitely bittersweet. Jack, if you're watching this, we love you. You will be sorely, sorely missed. Now to say this purchase was a splurge is an understatement. I kind of went crazy and I, if I had the money, I would have bought everything that I possibly could have. Um, but I'll show you what I did buy. I'm very, very, very excited about all of it. So this is the tree house. This is the one from the 80s um, from Japan, the hamburger restaurant. And don't worry, we'll get a closer look at all of it. And the owl family, ah, the owl family. And this is Jack Batch's owl family. That is so exciting. We have uh, Professor Waldo Tree Fellow and owl mother. This is Arabella. These are the otter twins. And then we have the duck family. These, this is the vintage duck family, the mayor and mayoress. Uh, that were re-released in 2012 along with the otters. And here we have the vintage schoolhouse. This is from the 80s. Also the USA Calico Critter one. And oh, we have another Professor Tree Fellow who is in there with the furniture. So we have two Professor Tree Fellows. And I think this one will be the grandfather and uh, maybe the teacher, we'll see. I never have too many owls. And here are all the accessories for the school. I am so excited to have the schoolhouse. I've you know, always wanted it and to find it in good condition is amazing. And here is the Otter Family 2012 re-release. So this is one of those vintage 80s or early 90s families that came out to go with the canal boat. So they're like styled like sailors. And then PC uh, Bobby Roberts, the police critter Ah, we have a policeman in Critter Land. And this is the first of a thousand that were released. A very special limited edition um, that Jack had. And I was so excited about this one. And here is the school. So the bell is a little bit rusty and needs to be cleaned off. But overall, the school is in excellent condition. Especially given that it's, what, 35 years old. But I am so, so happy to have this. Um, and this was one of the more affordable sets, so that was um, very exciting. All right, so this is the camper, and this is packed pretty uh, well in there, so I'm not going to open that right now, but we will definitely get to it uh, at some point. The camper is has been on my list forever uh, as a vehicle that I've wanted, so I'm very, very, very happy. All right, so let me take everything out of the box so you can just see everything that we got. Um, there is uh, PC Bobby Roberts. Here is the schoolhouse, of course. And this box is in pretty good shape, considering its age. And it's so exciting that that's the Calico Critters version. You don't see that very often. Here is the camper. This is actually the Epoch uh, version. It's from around 2012, so right around when um, the Flare Epoch switch was happening. And then the hamburger restaurant. And then the owls, of course. And again, this is the USA version, so it's a family of four. Instead of having uh, three little owlets, there are two. And then the Sheba family, which was also on my top five list. And I just haven't been able to get it. It's been hard to find new or very expensive or I've had to buy it using like a parcel forwarding service. So I bought it from Jack and it's basically like new. So this is the whole shebang. This is everything uh, from the order. So exciting. Let's open it up. We'll start with the schoolhouse. And we're not gonna open everything in this video but we will definitely open everything eventually. <laughs> And there is little Professor Tree Fellow way in the back. 
So this is the Calico Critters version of the Vintage Schoolhouse, and it came out in 1987, I believe. It's just such an iconic schoolhouse, and it's really cool to have the Calico Critter version versus the Sylvanian Families one. And the only difference is the sign, if you notice, above the door. Uh, other than that, they're identical, but most of the ones that I see online are the Sylvanian Families version. And so this came out right after the name switch from Sylvanian to Calico Critters here in the USA. And it's got these gorgeous vintage looking desks. These at first I thought were little tables. I had them standing up like that until I realized that they're chairs. They're just very different. And all the stickers are put on, but they're put on perfectly, of course. It's just in basically flawless condition, especially given its age. Here's another little poster that's mounted on a little sign that can get put up on the wall. And these books are actually from the newer school. I'll show you the books that came with this set, but this set came complete and it included Professor Treefellow. He is super cute. He's got little poseable wings. Now his hat is glued on. I don't know if that came that way or if he glued it on or what, but his hat is there to stay. And here's his little outfit. It could stand to be brushed a little bit, so I might do that. It's got a little bow, a bow tie. And this is what he looks like without his clothes on. So overall, he's in pretty good shape, uh, but compared to the other owls, he is a, has a little bit more age that you can, you'll be able to tell when I put him side by side. So here is a closer look at the school from this angle. Here's the bell. I love the bell tower, and this can double as a church. Now this bell needs to be clean, so we'll see how it polishes up. But you see the little string goes all the way down the chimney, or the bell tower, I mean, and there's a little door where you can ring the bell, and a tiny little ladder in there. Isn't that cute? School's in session. This is gonna be so cool in Critterland. I think I'm gonna set up a whole little vintage area with all my vintage sets. I actually got some others recently, just before this haul, that I'd shot a video on, like with that hammock, and I will edit that video and we'll look at those too, but you'll see some of those sets sprinkled in here, like the mailbox. But this is the treehouse. Uh, so the roof is a little bit, has a little bit of wear and tear, but other than that, it's in excellent condition. And it's so cool having the pictures from Jack's website on this video, and it's the actual same set. Like, that just blows my mind. But you can see the books in here are from the tree, or from the schoolhouse. So those are the original books, and they say Calico Critters. And the little window on the treehouse opens. But yeah, other than the roof, this is just meticulous, perfect condition. This is the Japanese version that came out uh, in, I think, 1980 between 1987 and 1989. And it's got a little door, and I thought this would be the perfect home for the owls. A little ladder, and the little owl boys can go for a swing on the swing. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous tree house, so lovely. Here's a look at the back, or the side, I mean. You can see the beautiful tree, it's so glossy. I don't know why I imagined it would it would be like not shiny, but just very pretty. And you can see it's not really resting on the log perfectly. I can't seem to get it to sit right here where it's supposed to go. So I'll keep fiddling with it. So we're going to take a little Professor Tree Fellow back to the school here because we have some owls to introduce. Once again, these are the 1985 Tomy USA uh, Sylvanian Families version from before the name was Calico Critters. So these actually predate the vintage schoolhouse by maybe a year or two. There's a look at the box. I can't tell what the price was. It's all scratched out. And here is another tree fellow professor. He's got his hat detached. So we have two, and they're slightly different. And I'll, I'll show you them side by side here in a sec. And then we've got the 
twins, Blinky and Aristotle. And they have slightly different names from the UK version. This one was $1.98 uh, originally back in 1985, which is actually about would be about $10 today, so that wasn't cheap. And they still aren't cheap. And here they are out of the package. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So here is the original, the one that came with the schoolhouse, which is actually a little older. And then the earlier one, you can see his eyes are more of a golden color. And his hat, of course, is detached. And his outfit just seems a little, like it fits better, it's a little crisper, and his bow tie's a little bit better. And then the older one is in better condition as well. And here is his wife, Mrs. Treefellow, with her gorgeous little pink dress on. And there is some aging on the Velcro there, but other than that, she is just perfect. You can see her little wing tip down there. So the only posable part of these owls are the wings. Here she is, and she's got a teeny tiny little apron on. I just love that. And here are Blinky and Aristotle. Aristotle is actually the name of the professor in the UK version. So they are not posable at all. Um, well, their, their head can be moved, but their wings are not posable. Oh, and then the heads on the adults could be moved too. So they've got two points of articulation. There's the whole gang. So we have an owl family. I, I just, I still can't believe it. It's like I'm in a dream. I cannot believe it. And here they are in their new house. And this, I think, will be the grandfather there on the, on the porch. And we are going to open another set. So down here, we've got our duck family and ducklings, because we will be introducing the Waddlington family. Oh my gosh. This is the mayor and mayoress of Critterland, or Sylvania. You can pause that and read about Jemima, Sebastian, and Quiller, and Wanda, and the whole gang. So this is the flare re-release of this vintage duck family. And on the back, you can see all these critters from that era. And I think the only ones we have are the cottontails. I don't think we have any others, which is crazy. I've got so much more to collect. But here are the Waddlingtons. I love, 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 love this duck family. And I just cannot believe I have it. And here is uh, Father Duck's little hat. So it's different than the uh, new duck's hat. It's more of like a, um, like, a pla like a thin plastic kind of paper, uh, whereas the other one's plastic. And here he is. These are all in practically new condition with a few markings where, the, uh, where they were sitting in the box. But yeah, this is just crazy. I mean, I've seen this go for like hundreds of dollars brand new and I was able to get it for a lot less than that. Oh my gosh, look at her beautiful dress and her bonnet. Uh, pinch me, I am obviously dreaming. Little medals on their necks. And here are the ducklings. So beautiful. They're a darker color than the other ducklings. So we have three types of ducklings now. The flock has really grown. I'm just so happy. I don't know where all these ducks are going to live. We'll need to maybe set something up with a little duck pond or something. Oopsies. How cute. Here's the whole gang. And here is our other duck family. Here's a closer look at the duckling. They have the same little outfit as the family. This one is from the duckling triplets, and it's got a full little bonnet there. The one from the duck family has the similar kind of little bib with a bow in the back, and these are solid color. So gorgeous. I love all this variety. And here is Mother, and she's got her little medal. And here is Wanda without her bonnet. Sorry, that's kind of out of the frame. But I love that the bonnet can be removed, whereas with the current one that we have, it's tied on so tight I'm afraid to untie it. And here is our mayor duck. Hello, sir. Look at that cute little 
suit jacket he's got on. Oh my gosh, he is just so cute. And here he is. Here's his little shirt with his little fluff on it. Just reminds me of like the 1800s or something. His little denim going up, uh, his shirt tucked in. How cute is that? Every piece is removable. I don't believe that's sewn on. How cute is chubby little butt. And he's got a little tail sticking out there. Velcro. There's elastic underneath. There's a little sticker there. Very beautiful. I love that velvety feel. I love the color combination. These little metals have a little elastic to them. And his hat. And I love this hat. It stays on. It's not heavy. It's, it's just uh, so much more practical. That other hat just keeps falling off. So yeah, all together they are super cute and I love that they all coordinate together. We got a little duckling down there. They're all better. So there's the whole flock and they're gonna go waddle around and get to know their neighbors. So stay tuned. This is everything we opened for this video, but there's a lot more to open and other hauls, like I mentioned before, from Kobe Japan and another one. So the sea otters actually came from uh, Sylvanian storekeepers a while ago. I just never opened them. So I will open the, those otters with the new otters, the new vintage otters that I got from Jack. So we'll do that in one video with all the otters plus some other sets. And of course the twins, which, ah, they're so cute. They're so little. I've already shot all the footage. We'll also open PC Bobby Roberts. We'll do the hamburger restaurant and the camper van. Also the Shiba dogs, of course, and then some sets that I got from Kobe Japan and some other sets that I haven't opened on camera yet. So I am super excited. Stay tuned. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.